Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So, first off, let me say I'm so so sorry for the way videos are have been being uploaded on my channel. I know they're sporadic. I know they're random, and I know I was said I was going to start a schedule. Um. So, anyways, we'll get into that. But this video is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. Life update. And just things that have been on my mind, things that have been on my heart, and we're going to go ahead and get into that. And so we are going to go ahead and start with our brows, and I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay Brown Pencil, and I have mine in the shade Soft Brown. And this is not a pencil to, like, get precise brush strokes if that's what you want. Like, it's really, really fat. So, so first thing first, the reason for the very weird uploads on my videos we are moving our lease here where we're at in these in this teeny tiny duplex is actually up on may 31st and so we already knew we didn't want to stay here and for a minute there we did kind of consider just living here for as long as possible but then it's like different kinds of people started moving in and yeah it's just they're not taking care of like outside and the grass and stuff and so i just like have not been happy living here and it's just like the people we live around are not the cleanest people and you know it's just one of those things where like it's just not a good situation like i wanted a place where i could let my kids run around outside or just let them go outside and I wouldn't have to worry about them. And just that they would be able to play outside in general without having to get in my car, load them up and take them to a park. Like that's a lot of work. I have three kids, two of them which are in car seats. Ethan can buckle in himself. It's raining, so if you heard that thunder, it's like pouring. And so, um, but yeah, like it's just so much work to have to do that all of the time. And then it keeps me away from being home. And I'm, I'm so thankful that Ethan is starting school this fall. He'll be in pre-K, which is also another blessing. So I was like, we're just growing in so many areas of our life right now. Oh, I'm going in with the Milani Brow Pomade. And I have mine in the shade Soft Brown as well. So, yeah, like, I don't know. It's just like... It's, this isn't where I've seen this for a long time, but I was willing to stay here as long as possible. And let's just say, as possible came up really, really soon. And so we just decided to not renew our lease and go ahead and move. And yeah, we're very, very excited about it. This is a place that Brian and I are going to keep to ourselves for a while. Other than immediate family, they know where it's at. They know what it looks like. They have actually been in prayer with us over this and it's, it's such a beautiful testimony how everything even happened and if you guys want get thumbs up or comment down below and i can actually go into the testimony about this place that we're moving and whatnot and but yeah it's such a beautiful testimony about how it happened and like just what we went through the things that we were believing for and how they all came to pass and it's just it's a fight of faith and living knowing that you have the victory over any situation in your life through Christ and that he has given you that victory freely when you choose to obey his commandments live for him love him and yeah when you choose to be his disciple and just follow him the things that he blesses you with are just so amazing and I don't I just can't understand why more people don't want to do that and if you don't follow me on snapchat instagram or uh yeah just snapchat or instagram and i'll link and i'll pop it up on the screen or something you really should because i don't i don't want to call them rants but like anytime i have like a word of wisdom like i do like to go on there and share it because i like to let people know that if you're struggling in this christian walk like you're not alone like even those of us who people may look up to or even those of us who seem that we're so strong in this walk like we're really not we all struggle we all have our battles that we face in different ways so i'm just going to go in with my ulta beauty hydrating face primer and we're going to take this one all over our face 
it's actually a Friday and it's 6 p.m. Ethan is with his dad and Bryson went with <laughs> my husband Brian which is his dad and um his biological dad and Ethan's with his biological dad and uh Bryson's with Brian at Chick-fil-A fellowshipping with one of our brothers in Christ so I was like well I have the chance and King just went to sleep he's been so fussy for like the last hour my poor baby's already teething and I'm just like where is the time gone like he's gonna be five months on the seventh and I'm just like why why does time go by so fast like he gives me baby fever and he is a baby and I'm like I know I don't need a baby right now I know I don't want to put my body through that right now but I have come to the fact that I am going to want another baby and right now I am just taking my elf poreless putty primer and I'm going to take that in my t-zone and especially right here in my cheek on my cheeks where I'm really starting to show a lot more pores I think I'm gonna do an updated skincare products that I use because I feel like my skin is starting to finally get to like a really 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 good place to where I like it my brows look so big on camera but not like when I look in the mirror but on camera they look huge <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> so anyways going on with my L'Oreal infallible fresh wear foundation and my wet and wild sponge I have not been wearing a lot of makeup since my skin has started to look so much better and I can definitely tell that my skin has been loving it I'm finally learning also as well like lighting and how I can make it better for me. I wish you guys could see what I'm like what I'm staring at. That's why my background keeps changing because I'm actually in a corner right now. And actually I am staring at like pretty much a wall of boxes. <laughs> and I have like everything in our house packed up except for like what we need. And at this point like if I pack up anything else like we're not going to be able to live. <laughs> And so I'm very proud of myself with that because the last two times we moved, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, and that's how I can tell that I've grown so much as in, as in like being a woman and like a wife and a mother. Like, I've just grown so much. Cause like the first time we moved, I just didn't do anything because, like, I didn't really want to. Like, I depended on Brian for a lot. Like, cause when we first got married, I worked too. So like, there was a very good balance. Like, I'll help you do this. You help me do that. And like, the chores in the house were very much like. We shared them. And then whenever I came become a stay at home mom, like I still expected so much help from him. And like, it took me a while to adapt to that. And then the second time that we moved, I was actually pregnant with King and I was very, very sick. So now I'm gonna take my, my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer but yeah, I was like very, very sick. And I'm like that with all of my pregnancies. And that's why I say like, I know I'm not ready to be pregnant again, but I do know that once my birth control, it's time for my birth control to come out in five years, I do want to start trying again for another baby. And I'm just praying that it's a girl and you just name it'll be a girl. I don't, my name, if you didn't know, Alexandria, I'm pretty sure I've said it before on my channel, actually means protector of men. And so I kind of expected King to be a boy, even though I wanted a girl so bad, just because the biblical meaning of bib, biblical meaning of my name is protector of men. But I also don't believe that I would have a desire to have a daughter if it wasn't meant for me to have a daughter, you know, because I do pray for all desires that are not of God to not be a part of me and for me just to have that discernment of what God wants for me and for me just to be today is apparently not a good day to be filming like I got to wet my sponge my sponge my sponge my sponge ran away but yeah you guys like just so much has been happening and I forgot what I was even saying last because I was that really just frustrated me so I've been going through a lot I really want to make YouTube my full-time ministry and I really feel like that's what I'm called to do because it has been blessed and I have been learning and gaining so much knowledge through doing so and so I'm just like at this point I'm just like I want to and like I know that I'm gonna have to take my take a step back and take myself 
out of stuff and away from stuff that I've already committed to and that's just so hard for me to do because I'm not a quitter I don't like to quit I like to try to do everything but at the same time I know with within putting yourself in the ministry comes sacrifice and especially when it's your calling you do have to sacrifice things that you have committed to with other people and that's hard because you don't want them those people to just feel like you're giving up on them or whatever the case but it like when God's calling you to do something those people either either understand or they don't understand but at the end of the day I'm just like but am I gonna obey God you know what I mean like am I gonna do what God's calling to me to do and I'm am I gonna say yes to doing this full time and fully devoting myself and committing myself because that's what I feel I need to do so how many of you even like my chit chat get readies with me obviously this is not good for flash because this just ghosted me out <laughs> And that is the photo ready, the Revlon photo ready candid loose setting powder in the shade 01. If I left in my videos how much my camera falls or whatever the case may be, like you guys would literally just be like, wow, the struggle is real. Anyways, I was just saying, like I really want to devote myself to this, but I know within doing that, I'm going to have to start pulling myself away from other stuff that is taking time away from my ministry and what God is calling me to do. It's just what I'm trying to figure out and it's really been eating at me and I've even talked to Brian about it. I've cried to Brian about it and yeah, they love Brian so much. Like, I feel like, like he's just there and like he tries so hard to understand me but he can only understand so much because he is a man and I'm not saying it makes him incapable of empathizing with me or whatever but he can only give me so much advice since i am a woman and he's a man he doesn't like he doesn't have i think that's what a lot of people forget speaking of that i want to go into something really fast and it's just um about women who want to be married but can't even expect can't even respect another person's marriage you either treat another uh, another man's husband without respect you treat men without respect in general and i just want to remind you guys like in marriage you have to submit like you the bible calls you to submit to your husband and things that he wants for the family so if you can't even submit in respecting a man like do you really think you're ready for a husband like do you really like i just feel like women these days like want so bad to have authority over a man or they think it's okay to be able to tell a man what to do or i'm not gonna go fully into it but i'm just saying if you think you have any authority over a man or that you can be above a man in any shape form or fashion and he has to submit to you now within marriage yes you do submit to one to one another but a man is the head of the household so for any reason you believe that you can be above your husband within the house you're not ready for a husband you're not ready for marriage and that's just me being straight up and honest like you're not and I think with titles, it has messed up the biblical order of marriage and the biblical order of the way the world is supposed to operate in general. Man has dominion over everything. And I'm not saying that that means that women can't be bosses or women can't be CEOs, women can't have their own company. Yes, they can, but I'm saying within your marriage, like you have to have that. And even within the order of a church, like, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna allow my husband to answer to any woman when he doesn't even have to answer to me is what I'm saying like how does that like how is that okay if my husband were to have to answer to somebody but he doesn't really have to answer to me all the Bible does is call for him to love me and we submit to one another's ways within Christ so you tell me how my husband has to submit to another woman and what she wants him to do what she tells him to do and not only that but like if you can't even respect a marriage or understand the order of a marriage or anything like that like you're not ready for marriage you're just not because what about whenever you get married and you don't understand that there has to be order within a home and order within the household well then your marriage is just going to be chaos and at that point you're just getting married to be married to say that you have somebody which is i'm sorry but that that's kind of ignorant you're married to to mirror what God wants with his church. That's why we get married. We're to marry that image of what Christ has with his church and what he's coming back for. 
on that is oneness and holiness and love and honor and respect like there's just so much that goes into marriage and i think i think a lot of times brian and i may make it seem fun we may make it seem like it's just so easy like no it is not brian and i have disagreements brian and i have miscommunication that gets heated like it's not perfect it's not I'm not going to say it's not fun, but it's definitely not perfect. And it's not always the laughs. It's not always us matching. It's not always us making jokes and working out together. Like there's so much that goes into it that I don't think people understand. And they just want what they see and not understanding that there's an enemy out there and he's after your marriage he's after that oneness because if there's no marriages to mimic what god has and what god wants for us and who god is then people have nothing to look forward to people have nothing to compare that to okay now i'm just gonna take this elf brow wow brow and i the blush i didn't show like i've been using like the same face powders for ever because i'm so obsessed with them and then Another thing I wanted to see is like, how can people, well, first I have a question and I want you to comment down below and I want your most brutal, honest answer. Like, I really want you to self-reflect. Like if the rapture were to happen right now and Jesus came back to cast judgment on everybody. One, if the rapture were to happen, are you getting left behind or is he taking you? And two, if you were to cast judgment on all his people right now, are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? And like, I even had to do some self-reflecting on that because God doesn't want anyone that's lukewarm and the slightest thing can make you lukewarm. And I'll be very upfront and honest with you guys. Like for me, what would cause, and what I'm gonna start working on is I'm very much somebody is like it's not a problem for me to forgive you but I'll never give you the opportunity to hurt me again I won't communicate with you I won't talk to you I won't confide in you like you will be cut off unless you approach me and you need something but I will never reach out to you again and that's just the person that I am and that's something I need to work on because I don't believe that that's showing God's love I believe that I should still let these people know that they are loved and not allow it to affect me so much even though it does and like I believe that that's just like one big thing and that I'm not showing God's love it's like and it's not that I'm holding a grudge it's just I don't ever want to be hurt by that person again like I don't even want to give them the satisfaction of hurting me again and so I just want to cut that off and I know that that's not what God has for me and that's not how I should be and other than us moving there's going to be like a ton of big changes for Brian and I and I'm so excited and I'm so excited that I keep, get to keep going with him and that we're on such like the same level of where we want to be with Christ and how we want our relationship to be not only with Christ but with one another and the upbringing of our children and what we want to teach them and things like that like yeah I'm just so happy and I'm so excited for what chapter God is bringing us into with not only a new home and a new perspective on things but like a new relationship with God like he gives you the chance every day to renew your relationship with him and make it better and grow in him or even just to start a relationship with him like you get the opportunity every single day and he doesn't condemn you for not following him for all those years or condemn you for where you were he's just happy that you're here now seeking him is what's so amazing about God and that I don't think people get like I think the world has portrayed that God there's this question like if God created the universe who created God well first of all the Bible just says he 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 is the I am I am the I am like that's who he he just is because he's God and like, I don't think we need any explanation. I don't believe even if he told us, our minds would be able, would our, our minds wouldn't even have the capability of understanding and processing that. Like, I just don't believe that. And then I think of, you know, I think of, they say, or I've heard like, 
you know, you got to be really careful because if you really share your beliefs in Christ and what he's done for you and what you're believing him for, like it can really make you look like a crazy person. And I believe that to the full extent because Brian and I will sit here and talk. Brian and I pray over things and do things that I don't think very many people do. I think they just they're sold out 100 to Christ. And we want to tell the truth. We want to speak the truth. We want to teach the truth. And we're to the point where we don't care what the consequences are for doing so. Because it's just, I have this platform. And granted, it's only... 200 people and not all 200 people watch every single one of my videos or have a lot more views but I have the opportunity and I have the freedom to come on here and teach and show you guys and if I'm able to do that then I want to teach truth and I'm going to start doing it fearlessly because the only person I am to fear is God and if man wants to punish me for doing so then vengeance is the Lord's I don't like that mascara for lower lashes. It's beautiful on top lashes, but it's not enough for lower lashes. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Coral Line. Coral, yeah, Coral Line. You ever think of that weird cartoon, Coral Line? You asked me that shouldn't be a kid's cartoon. It's frankly too scary. More people want to instill that kind of fear into their children. I think you should instill the fear of discipline in them to where they don't want to go out and just act buck wild and all crazy. I believe in that kind of fear and whatnot, but I don't believe in frightening your children. I'm going to go in with my, actually I'm going to go curl my lashes first. I need to replace my e.l.f. hydrating coconut mist. I just painted my nails Wednesday and this color is so pretty, but... It chips so so fast but the color is so pretty I feel like I'm like three sprays away from it like not spraying on me anymore and that frightens me because I love it so much especially with that setting powder it's like a perfect perfect combo it's gotten so much brighter outside because that dark rain cloud has moved Wow, that is not cute. My hair is literally matted in the back of my head. Okay, you guys, this is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys liked chatting with me. I definitely need to work on this brow game because I feel like they're so big and I don't like them. Do y'all remember the dad on American Pie or New York Minute with Mary-Kate and Ashley? That man, like... I feel like I have his brows right now and it's like that's not even cute like <laughs> anyways I thank you guys for watching if you like videos where I just kind of sit down and chat with you guys please go ahead and give this a thumb up a thumb up a thumbs up and if you haven't already please 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 subscribe to my channel I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye Thank you.